What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So, someone by the name of John Baker suggested another assault rifle from Modern Warfare 2, the TAC-56. I don't know what it is man, but for some reason the MW2 guns generally perform better than the MW3 guns and of course the TAC-56 is one of my all time favorites. Before we get into the build I'm using for the TAC-56, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the TAC-56 is as follows. I'm using the Demo Clean shot rear grip to improve our ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the SL Razor Hawk laser light for the fastest possible ADS and sprint to fire speed boost, the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel to increase our effective damage range, we took the TV Exaline Pro stock for increased sprint speed and a bit of extra ADS speed, and last but not least we're using the 60 round mag. Thank you again to John Baker for the suggestion, if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the TAC-56, it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see, and uh, we got this TAC-56 2 pack 3. Uh, let's see if we can actually find a few zombies. We do have that. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Let's try to rush over towards that bounty contract. It's looking like the tier 3 zone is fairly contested. So, fingers crossed, we can actually pick that thing up. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Let's pick that up, see what target it gives us. And we got a Mangler. Okay, not bad. Ooh, got a Mega on us right there. Let's actually take that guy out real quick. Hit those criticals. Already took off one of his faces, and he despawned. That's unfortunate. All right, I'll see you guys once and by the Mangler. I mean, yeah, damage output on this thing is just insane. I don't think we're going to have any issues taking out these HVTs, man. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies back here. Let's quickly take all of them out. Ooh, got a mangler back there, too. Let's quickly dodge that. There we go. So quickly we can take this guy out. And there we go. Mangler's dead already. Oh, we need to back up now. Laser attack's coming in, too. Let's quickly take care of that. There we go. Start hitting a few criticals on the Mega. Oh, dang, they came from the left. <laughs> no way. All right, let's burn the self-res real quick. There we go. Mega Abomination is still back there. Let's take some of these zombies out. Might actually chuck a decoy in a bit here. All right, let's bring him over here again. Nice. Come on, Mega. Hit us with a laser attack, dude. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's bring him back over to this side. I'm pretty sure we can climb up on something back here. Uh, maybe this? Oh, yeah, that probably... Yeah, there we go. That works. Uh, let's throw that. There we go. Nice. Quickly hit the ammo depot as well. Perfect. All right, we're ready to take this guy out now. Beautiful. Let's keep hitting those criticals. Yeah, we're just eating into his health bar, man. Almost halfway dead already. Even when you're not doing critical damage, you're still working that guy. This thing's insane. There we go. Let's bring him over to this side. Climb up here. Trigger another one of those lasers. There we go. That's what we needed. Oh, he's got the flamethrower. <laughs> nice. There we go. And Mega Abomination is dead. We'll take that for sure. Got an extra large bag. I think we already have one. Yeah, we do. Okay, we Gucci, we Gucci. All right, Mangler should be back there. There we go. I see him, I see him. All right, let's take these guys out. Got a Mimic to take care of as well. Let's quickly do that. Perfect. It's about halfway dead and already got the kill. <laughs> this thing's insane, dude. Then again, TAC-56 is my favorite AR. Just in general. Since the early days of DMZ. Let's keep hitting those shots on him. Nice. Took off about a quarter of his health bar. Halfway dead. Just a few more shots. Come on. 
And there we go. Contract complete. Let's take that self revive. Definitely gonna grab that sigil. Um, I'll take the pack two crystal as well in case we end up finding a scorcher or something. Let's go. All right, so there's no bounty contract anywhere. I will quickly grab this LTV just so I can get around the place a bit quicker. Um, we could do that Outlast contract, maybe. Yeah, okay, I'll start driving towards it. If a bounty contract spawns in along the way, then I'll definitely prioritize that. But regardless, I'll see you guys once we have a contract. No way that just spawned in, dude. And there's a whole group of people back there. I don't know if we'll be able to get it, but... Let's hope for the best. Ooh, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's pick that up. There we go. Hopefully we get a Mega this time as our target. And we got a Mega. Nice. Predicted that. <laughs> and he's going to be way back there. Okay, no problem. Let's grab that LTV again. All right, Mega. I see you back there. Let's quickly do that. There we go. Let's try to get on top of one of these buses behind us. And there we go. Nice. Triggered a laser attack already. Let's focus on that middle face for now. There we go. One face destroyed already. We'll have to keep jumping from bus to bus just to avoid those zombies meet. There we go. Let's focus on that right face again. Beautiful. Nice. Two faces destroyed. One more to go. Let's quickly jump across again. Oh, we might have to throw that. There we go. It's going to help out a bit. Nice. Kind of missed the face, but it's all good. Beautiful. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left now. Come on. Just a few more shots. Come on. Oh, man. He's so close to dying. There we go. Final laser attack that we need. And that should do it. There we go. Nice. Quick and easy. <laughs> I had no issues taking that guy out. Um, I'll take the precision airstrike. Death perception. Um, refined crystal. We already have one. Um, I guess I'll take it. We might find something better. If not, then... I'll definitely be happy with pack 2 crystal. Alright, got that other bounty contract way back there, so let's quickly grab this hatchback and make our way over there. I think I'll do enough contracts to hit that, like, 75,000 essence mark. We'll see, we'll see. Depends how contested the tier 3 really is. Nice, got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. And it's a disciple, nice. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, and he's going to be right there. I know which one that is. All right, I'll see you guys when some back there. Here we got a normal disciple right up ahead as well that we'll have to take care of. Let's quickly, ooh, let's quickly come over here, get some distance from all those zombies. And now uh, we'll just quickly take them all out. There we go. Hopefully we get some plates off of that. There we go. We got two, which is decent. All right, let's come back here now again. There we go. Ooh, our bounty target came right over to us. <laughs> All right, there we go. Already broke his armor, so we can actually start doing critical damage to him. Nice. All right. There we go. Took off about a quarter of his health bar already. Ooh, he's healing up. Let's hit that arm. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, we are doing some work, man. Might actually take that nuke just to get rid of the normal zombies. Never mind, there were none there. <laughs> All good. Let's hit his arm again. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this thing gets a solid 9 on 10. This thing is insane. There we go. Let's see what we got off that. A large bag, shatter blast, and self revive. Um, no, nah, I think we're good. We have an extra self res, so we should be fine. Let's see if there is another bounty contract somewhere, and there's none. All right, I'll quickly grab that LTV. You know what? I might quickly do that deliver cargo contract just to get some extra essence. And uh, yeah, that only takes like, what, <laughs> half a minute or something to complete? Ooh, never mind. Bounty contract just spawned in back there, so we're definitely going to go grab that instead. Let's go. Yeah, wasn't there like three teams over here a while ago? That's odd. They already go to the dark either or something? <laughs> Crazy. Well, I'm not going to complain. That's better for us. All right, let's pick up this contract. Let's see what target we get now. And it's a Mimic. Okay, not bad, not bad. Where's he going to be at? Way back there. Okay, I'll see you guys once I'm by the Mimic. One thing I love about this gun too is the iron sights, man. It just looks so nice. And of course, the mobility is just great with this gun. Absolutely love it. Ooh, never had this many zombies in this room. What the hell? There we go. Let's take some of these out. Nice. Quickly come to this side. All right. 
Nice. Mimic should jump down here. There we go. Let's quickly get some more distance from him again. Nice. Let's keep focusing on hitting those criticals. Beautiful. Get some distance again. Nice. And yeah, we took off more than a quarter of his health bar already. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely needs to go get some plates in a second here, though. Okay, let's take out some of these normal zombies, actually. Hopefully some of them drop some for us. There we go. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Fully played it up again. Oh, dude, is that... Yo, that's like three mimics. <laughs> let's go. Some good action right here. All right, we'll have to take out the normal ones first. And there's a mega further back as well. Hopefully that guy doesn't end up coming over here. <laughs> All right, there we go. An extra plate. Definitely need that. Let's focus on the normal mimic. There we go. One dead. Let's get that second one. Beautiful. Now we can start to focus on our target again. That mega abomination is coming our way. Ooh. And there we go. Contract complete. Ooh, tombstone recipe. I'll drop the pack one crystal for that. There we go. Oh, no. Hold up. That laser attack came out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> All right, let's quickly burn that. There we go. All right, Mega. And now he despawns, bro. What is this? <laughs> all good. All good. Um, yeah, so we got that. Um, yeah, we're, we Gucci. We Gucci. I'll quickly hit the buy station and grab an, uh, should I? No, I won't waste any essence on a self res. We'll probably find one here soon. I'll quickly take that ether tier and make my way over to this bounty contract. Actually, I'll go to this one. It's a bit closer. Let's go. Ooh, can we get it? Let's go. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> Got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. And it's a mega. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's going to be way back there. Okay. That's pretty close to the portal. Um, We might go to the dark ether after this one, to be honest, because we have a good amount of essence. We do still need to go buy a few Casimirs, but the buy station's right next to that as well. So we Gucci boys. We Gucci. There we go. I see you back there, Mega. Come on. Make your way over here. Hold on. I think, yeah, we can actually get up on that staircase there. Trigger his laser attacks. It's going to speed things up quite a bit. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's go, Mega. Hit us with that laser attack, dog. There we go. Laser attacks coming in. Beautiful. Let's just keep hitting those shots. Nice. Quite a few zombies coming up here, but that laser attack actually kills most of them, which is perfect for us. Ooh, hold up. But they're coming in from behind, too. Jeez. All right. None up here right now. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Good amount of armor on the ground as well. Let's focus on that face to the right. There we go. That's what I like to see. Just a few more shots. Come on. Perfect. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Let's take some of these normal zombies out real quick. There we go. Beautiful. Come on. Let's go. Dang, that was a short laser attack. Let's quickly jump down, actually, for this one. Should be able to get the kill here. No? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have jumped down so early. <laughs> it's all good, though. Let's get some distance. Just a few more shots. Dude, he's so close to dying. <laughs> Look at that health bar. Alright, let's play it up real quick. There we go. Come on, Mega. Hit us with it. Come on. Let's quickly bring him to this side. We might actually just climb up here again just to trigger it real quick. There we go. Ooh, if we can. Nice. We got it. We got it. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And contract complete. Quick and easy. Let's see what we got off that. Um... PhD flopper and two rare tools. Nothing too special. Nothing too special. All right, I'll quickly go hit the buy station and grab a few Casimirs. And uh, yeah, then we are pretty much ready to head over to the Dark Ether. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Ether portal. Let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier four zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Ether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse right here. And then climb this container. Go through this little window. And there we go. That's where you find the first contract, which is the bounty contract. Now we got a Mega Abomination as our target. The spawn point for the Mega does seem to be static over at C8 on the map. That area is full of fog. 
so I'll see you guys once I'm there and I'll show you my strategy for taking out the Mega. I mean, yeah, this Tag 56 just feels nice, man. Great for taking out bounty targets and great for groups of zombies, which is exactly what you want for the Dark Ether. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this gun, I swear. All right, let's kind of run along the border here. There we go. Hit a few shots on the Mega. That should trigger him. Come on. Yeah, he's coming our way. Nice. So you basically just want to lure the Mega over to this parking area back here. And uh, there we go. That basically makes it so you don't have to fight off all the zombies and the mega in the fog where you don't really see anything. And then of course you have these two rooftops right here, the one I'm climbing up and that one that I just pinged. So you can just keep alternating between the two rooftops and just keep triggering his laser attacks which makes it really easy to take that guy out. Now as you can see zombies will come up here so you will have to jump out from time to time and then just swap over to this rooftop here. That's just my strategy, it usually works, and it definitely makes this contract really easy. So there we go, already took off two of the Mega Abomination's faces. Let's quickly take care of that Disciple as well. There we go. Nice, ooh, almost got stuck there. That's definitely not good. Nice, let's get back up here again. Beautiful. Take out that zombie. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies right there, man. Jeez. Alright, let's take some of these guys out. Where's the Mega at? Is he stuck back there? Hold on. I'll have to go check that out real quick, boys. There we go. There we go. He's coming towards us again. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. Let's take all those guys out. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this thing's just insane for taking out hordes of zombies, man. Just look at that. Ooh, quickly have to climb up here. There we go. I actually survived it. Let's go. Uh, we'll have to throw a thermite at his face there. Nice. Ooh, we actually got insta-kill. Let's quickly pick that up. Make things a bit quicker. Beautiful. Alright, let's keep hitting those shots on the Mega. Quickly come back to this side here. Alright, should be able to trigger a laser attack from up here, maybe. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Let's hit those criticals. Super close to dying. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off that. An Elder Sigil. That's exactly what we needed. Um, the blood burner keys I'll leave in there, the extra self revive I'll leave in there too, since we really don't need that. Oh, let's take some of these boys out here. There we go. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna have to change my rating to 9.5 out of 10. This thing's insane. I'm loving it, man. Let's go. Alright, so once you take out the Mega Abomination, you want to make your way over to this rooftop right here. That's E7 on the map. And uh, that's where you find the second contract being the Outlast contract. Now there's two ways you can get up there. As you can see, there's a staircase right up ahead, which brings you all the way upstairs. Or you can come around to this back side of the building here and just come up the ladder. Whichever way you choose to get up there, just make your way up to the roof. And uh, the Outlast contract is right up here. So just pick that up. That's going to ping the P&D device located over at the diner. So just parachute off this rooftop into this foggy area back here. And from here, there shouldn't be too many zombies, as you can see. Then just run up this hill, climb these two walls, and there we go. We made it to the P&D device. Now just go ahead and get this activated. Now in terms of uh, completing this contract, there's a few strategies to it. You could just train the zombies around which is probably the easier and safest option. Also, if you pay attention to the progress bar, it goes up super fast when you're in this area and when you jump out, it goes down really slow. So if it gets too crowded and you have to hop out from time to time, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll still progress with the contract. As you can see, we already got that progress back. Now you can also come back into this kitchen area here. And uh, from here, you can just stay in this corner and just take out all the zombies coming your way. This strategy works as well, so whichever way you choose to finish this contract, go ahead and do that. Play it safe, don't take any risks, and I'll see you all once I'm done with the contract. And there we go, contract complete. Now once you finish a contract, most of the zombies are going to die. As you can see, might still have one or two left alive. And just check the reward rift, mag of holding, I will definitely take. Let's go. Alright, so once you finish that contract, you want to make your way over to the mall that's over at H6 on the map, as you can see. Now, there's a few ways you can get up here. There's an ether tier in the building right next to me. 
or there's another ether tier right here I believe. There's also a staircase inside the mall that brings you all the way to the rooftop. And my preferred method is just to make my way over to this parking garage and climb up from there. Whichever route you choose to take, just make your way up to the rooftop and I'll see you guys once I'm there. Nice, we made it to the rooftop, then just pick up this contract and start running west immediately. And as you can see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. Now, I like to just keep running in this direction here, and once you reach the edge, you can actually dolphin dive and then open up your parachute, like so, and parachute over to this platform here. From here, I like to jump across to this rooftop, like so, and then just throw a Casimir right at the ground. That's going to bounce off towards these cars, but more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. Super easy. Oh, it, it glitched out. No way. Hold on, let's see if we can still get it. Thing is, manglers usually mess it up when they hit you with that blast, but it's all good, it's all good. Then while running towards the second extractor, open your bag and equip the extra Casimir and throw Casimir right at that wall. There we go, that's going to stay right there and once again it's going to let us disable the extractor. Then just start running towards the third and final extractor and throw your Casimir at the floor right there, like so. And once again, just get this extractor disabled. So definitely a very easy contract. The only thing you need is Casimirs, and they'll do all the work for you. There we go. Let's see what we got. An extra Elder Sigil, which I'm definitely happy about because we don't have any more of those. And I usually use those to uh, get these videos recorded. So yeah, pretty good loot right there. I guess the next video I record, we'll actually be going over to the Elder Dark Ether again, which I'm definitely excited about. Now, my final rating for the TAC-56 is going to have to be 9.5 on 10. The damage output is great, fire rate is great too, you're super mobile with it, it's great for taking out groups of zombies and bounty targets, so no complaints with this gun. Um, I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 because I wouldn't put this in the overpowered category, it's just a very good assault rifle, and if you like using ARs and you want to switch things up from time to time, then go ahead and use this thing definitely a great gun thank you again for the suggestion if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below thank you all for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did then go ahead and hit that like button it really helps out comment with any suggestions for future videos and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are and as always goodbye